focus on the survivor instead okay, of the Kufra, okay. it's a Grok. That's gonna invade the jungle and Edith is gonna be placed into the EXP lane. Yeah, we're gonna see yeah in uh, initiation from Grok and the and then also with the enhanced blade from from Juliet and Five finally the onward the primer the from Edward. So this time round once again Team Liquid is gonna be played as secure as possible in the game. But now speaking of which blue side to Team Liquid Aurora on the red team. Yeah, both seems to have been taking the entire village to get the, their respective buffs. Like you know what. I respect that, but is at this moment, Demon Titan has the advantage in terms of rotation speed. So, but the in terms of position wise, uh, Cloud TZ is closer to the Little Wanderer, so he, I have a feeling he might be able to get level four first. Yep, maybe so. But let's let us not forget that how is that Team Liquid at this point will be playing as as try to be as passive as possible sometimes and letting go team aurora to be aggressive first Tau Tau TZ already gets the uh, little wonder at this point so now he's uh, is reaching level three i'm wondering what's the goal goal for both junglers right now so at this rate retribution is going to be spent and um at this rate, Call TZ will be securing that early game jungle quickly, but now Demon Kite has reached level 4, so OG Shadow Kill is available. Yeah, it's going to be the extremely fast, uh, extremely fast jungle clear. Demon Kite opting to clear his own camps first, while Call TZ, alright, yeah, he managed to get the 4 uh, immediately as well. And just a little over 20 seconds left to this turtle fight, and it seems that. Uh, Aurora is going to be in a slightly better position, seeing that the, the positions of everybody in Aurora is just going to be camping around the bottom lane. Oh, here we go. The first blood might be going it? over <laughs> to send for a Demon Kite. First blood by the Kingslayer's he uh, Demon Kite right here, taking off send for. Now the turtle might but just go over to Team Aurora, and this is a good start so far. No contest available. Yeah, look at that level 3 pressure that UA is actually putting on. He doesn't need that level 4, unlike uh, unlike the Valentine, unlike oh. Sanji. Oh! Call TZ! Here's a Thorn Rose, unfortunately it's not enough and he will be punched down. Speaking of which, that, that's the early game pressure that we are talking into. The front line, the wall charge just comes into and let Demon Kai do his job and taking him down. That is one thing that what they have played so well, and they might just gonna mass the massively utilize this advantage to ensure that this scaling composition for Team Liquid does not work well, and they have just popped it up so well. Like unlike the the the, the first match that we have seen against Mad Bull, this time around Team Liquid has a significantly um tougher early game in this composition. That wasn't something that we were we were actually expecting to see. But something that you can see is if you check your pin message to get the bonus. And now, right now, on the top lane, it seems that the rotation will be trying to pressure out the Aria Van QT. Looks like to be in a little bit of danger. Exactly. Now, knowing that JP is not really oh. that tanky <laughs> in the early game, this is going to be something that is going to OG Shadow Kill once again takes the goat out of the land of Dawn. Three kills for the ninja. The Phantom Execution just didn't come out on time and Renner J, although his Wild Charge will get that knock up. Uh no no one's actually gonna be falling right here. Mm-hmm. Maybe not not not, not so quick. Yeah, not but yet, now not looking yet. at how oh, 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 Sandford might be get just get caught as instantly <laughs> gets demolished by Edward. Man! That guy is just massive. Edward, the Agent Zero, returns into the, comes into a new squad, but comes in with massive power. Yeah, he's currently playing the gray screen simulator as he's going to be sent back to base yet another time. Now JP will be jumping straight in. Unfortunately, no one is there to follow it up. The second turtle is going to be up, but as with the first turtle, Aurora does have the positional advantage. Unless Cult TZ can just come in with the Phantom Execution and Puncture combo to steal the turtle away. But I don't think he's gonna be finding it very soon. 
Yep, they're not gonna be, be, be going out very soon. Call TZ with the Thorn Rose trying to make a make a make a play here. The Garden Bearers trying to delay the turtle right now. Oh and here comes Urshanta and here comes the team fight! Oh Call TZ oh. takes the turtle! Demon Kite has been taken down and go down goes Ren and Jay and Edward! A clean team fight has been led by Team Liquid! Yeah, a roll. Uh, uh, Ren and Jay putting in with the really nice flicker wild charge combo, knocking up so many members of Team Liquid. But unfortunately, JP had the Minoan Fury to just oh. put everything to rest. And Sanford will be. Will he be sent back to base yet again? The answer is no. As he walks away with his helmet looking pretty great itself. Oh, so close, so close. That HP, that low HP was there. Almost available for Yue to just take him out. But he eventually just make it out safe. And that is how a amazing Sanford is. He's able to make such massive plays. He, he, he can just make it out escape. At this rate right now, they're just going to go on even further. Oh, now, oh, speaking oh. of wild charge, Sanji immediately gets demolished. And JP trying to make a statement here. It's coming for the team fight. Not just quite yet. Earth Shadow did a hit and let the, the minus just push the tier one on the top lane. Okay, at this moment, I think Aurora really, really, really needs to stop Benny QT. Benny QT already at two kills and zero deaths. He already has the Wind Talker and the Sky Piercer, and if he's allowed to snowball any further, it's not going to be great now. Sanford missing that final stash, and JP missing the Minoan Fury. Nothing is oh. hitting. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is not that's not calculated well. They call TZ right now. It's escapes trying to make a make a play. Domang is there waiting for the help. Oh dear. Renegade on the chase! Yeah, but I... call TZ still make it out escape as safe and sound. There's 17 seconds left for the total to arrive. Call TZ still on zero kills. Now that's a stark difference from what we saw previously. But they aren't out for the count yet. It's still possible to turn back. But Aurora is going to be slowly rallying the forces around the turtle, but this time Team Liquid already has all five members onto the turtle. Alright, so it's time for Aurora trying to set up a fight here, and Team Liquid is trying to set up as well, counter and engage. Garden Bear is ready onto on on oh. the second here, no flicker spin still. Renner J onto the power of nature, immune from the control effects, and he gets out of the way. Turtle is still restarted, and the tier 1 is in, is in oh. trouble. And, and here comes the onward, and the earth shatter. And Minokuri still has to be hopped up. Renner J takes out Sand for as well, but it's better QT. Execute oh. everyone, oh. and Kao TZ tops it up with the turtle, leaving you alone against the four, against the five. It is down for two members for Team Aurora! This is just looking like deja vu. Previously, Aurora initiated in the exact same fashion and Team Liquid bringing it back, taking the fight straight back to them, pulling out the Uno reverse card, no you, and wipes them out instead. This is the second time this happened. I will have had $2 again. And, and right now, the, the problem is Benny QT with that two additional kills, we'll have 20 stacks on that Sky Piercer right now at least. And that is not gonna be good for a roll. Oh yeah, exactly. Now four kills to top it out even more. It's gonna oh. be a huge pressure. Domain, look at the damage from the goats. But Kao Tizi, it might be just going down by Domain. Counter engage, success. But will Team oh, Liquid no! forces out the final slash? OG Shadow gonna try to make a play. Sand 4 might be just get executed with the Kai Sky Pierce. And here comes the counter engage by the new team, Team Aurora gonna demolish Sanji and JP by some time but it eventually falls to Yue and his team Aurora regains the momentum. You are being able to run away with that enhanced sword saving that third skill for that for that for that disengage. I think that was just amazing but now now Team Aurora is pulling the brakes on the Team Liquid's advance and slowly making an advance of their own. Look at that two towers down already and Sanford with that flicker final slash that didn't really slash anything unfortunately I think he really didn't need to do that actually like he could have saved it anyway I've gotten the same results anyway I think it's more towards a miscalculation where he mm -hmm. thought that he can land that well but eventually the direction just got off place and he fails to make the final slash mo moment and the team fight just gone on wrong. So that's the what that's one utilized mistake by Team Aurora as they managed to fight back.
Now just look at the city that Aurora is having. Almost all the towers still intact stands for two. Meanwhile, Team Liquid is left with a measly four. Now with this Lord, I think Aurora will be able to force a push in. And with this Lord Dance coming out, Team Liquid really can't afford to give this Lord over to them. As if that does happen, there's going to be lesser space for Team Liquid to farm. And although Ben QT is starting to scale up already, one man cannot fight an army. Yep, one fan cannot fight an army, but it's, it's, it's impossible. It's gonna be four. Here comes the Eternal God trying to make a play. Renner J with the power of nature gets, just steps out of the waste. Call it easy. Steps into the lore, trying to make a play. Watch shot oh, coming oh. through. And it comes a fight. And it gets Demon Kai takes down the lore. But Sanji will take it down. Don't double kill as well. But it eventually falls to Yue. But it's still ultimately won by Team Aurora. It was looking like as if Team Liquid was about to win that team fight. Like for example, they will win the fight but lose the war. But instead, they lost the fight and they lost the war. Count TZ was chunked down all the way to one corner of his health and he could not engage. And that was a really nice play by Aurora knowing that Count TZ will not be able to engage. They just decided to leave him alone. And now Demon Kite is coming in with the no OG shadow kill, oh. just a little bit of just pop it by to say hi. But that little greeting right there has cost them one of their towers. That's cost them a lot of the one tower, one tower at least, and that damage coming in from Hayabusa with BOD, with the Hunter Strike, and and also with the Sky Piercer as well. Mm. That stacks up a lot more. It hasn't even completed his Malefic Roar yet, but JP has been chunked up so well. And right now, all that Team Aura need is just a team fight. Final Slash just fails to make a statement, but the clear the minutes has been cleared and they survive this round. And the level disparity at this point is going to be looking like a little too much. Aurora took the, took the advantage of that lord in order to clear out Team Liquid's entire jungle camp, leaving them with nothing but scraps. Even this Litho Wanderer, they don't want to even leave this cabbage for them. Okay, but to their to their to their credit, the cabbage actually does give a lot of vision. But with this, Team Liquid does not have anything but time. They need to mm -mm. wait it out. And that is a tall order to ask for. If you, You'll see that's a level 15 demon kite already. And Kalkizi is still on level 14. Now, the, the rest of them, they're still a little bit under level. And I think the fights are going to be breaking out very, very, very soon. All right, exactly. Now they need to just play, play is just patience. All you need oh no. is just make it. Oh no, Sanjik maybe off base right here. Edward spotted up, sent for, and he still steps out of the way. Not enough follow up still. Oh, that was but a nice eventually, play yep, exactly. But here comes oh no. probably one in the station. Yes, no, it's just fine. Call TZ will be taking out the purple buff, and it's still safe for Team Liquid so far. Yeah, 30, around 35 seconds left until the next Lord spawns. And this is going to be an, like an upgraded Lord, so they re Team Liquid really has to watch out for that. Now, regarding to the, the tech just now that Renegade did, although he had the power of nature that could have easily done a lot of damage to Sanji, if he had cast that, Sanji would have just cast like his first skill, stunned him, and Renegade uh, would have been in a world of hurt. So I think it was really nice, a really nice play where he just weighed, weighed the options, weighed the consequences and decided, you know what, it ain't worth it and he just walked away. Exactly. Now, one one mistake could cause anything. So I think Renanje has the right idea by maintaining it to make sure he's not making any mistakes and which might potentially cause the game. Eventually, you have to know, Benacuity is still 4 kills, no death. If any mistake happens, we utilized by Benacuity, it's going to be off limits. So right now, they have to play as secure as possible. So Team Liquid right now, buy some time, letting roll Aurora to make the play. And tangoing along with the Lord is going to be chunked down to two-thirds of his HP. Team Liquid needs to find an entrance to go in and get rid of the... Oh, never oh. mind, Sanji! Oh! Oh! Oh my god, you can take it down in the internal gun as well. Venom Jay, a little bit low, oh, unstoppable oh, oh. for Venacuity. As I said, he executes him, but it comes for help. And the OG Shadow Kill did not end it quite well. It's a little bit of HP cut chunked out. Agent Zero on the hunt, forcing out the flicker. Sanford, once there again, Final Slash immediately plays the effect. And here comes the fight for Venacuity. Once again, leads Team Liquid into the victory.
That's gonna be 40 stacks on the Sky Piercer, and that's gonna be the hope of Aurora winning team fights dwindling down as time goes by. Benny QT did not die. With 6 kills and 0 deaths, his farm at this moment is just gonna be astronomical. And Aurora is giving him a little bit too much space. Although they did try to do a lot of ganks previously, it just did not work out. Now, I, I have no idea how they're gonna do it, but they have to shut him down. The moment Ben Cutie gets that win of nature or that Queen's Wings is gonna be over for them. Exactly, right, right now, the Lord might be just going to be taken out very easily, it's fine. But at this rate, once again, Team Liquid is back to the composition where they need to protect the king. So right now, in this case, they know. Call TZ, I'm fine. I'm just here to take the, the resources away, and that's my job. And JP, lead the fight, send for initi initiates, send G, poking with the damage, and when they make space, here comes the Emperor and clean this thing off. So now, Team Aurora, they need to pop it up with one, exactly one strategy to try to take down the giant, the great wall of Team Liquid and try to make sure Bandicoot is vulnerable to be attacked. But at this point round, it's so hard for them to pinch point it. Yeah, just look at them. They're just grouping up like a ball, like a little liquid water droplet. <laughs> team Liquid Water Droplet. And so uh, I think what uh, Team Aurora <laughs> needs to do is to really like uh, play on their flickers, their, their flicker combos. Like for example, Edward with the Omnic Flicker and Renegade with their Flicker Wild Charge in order to catch them by surprise. Because at this point, they're just prepared for anything that they can see. But if, if they're able to get them in a blind spot which they can't see, and uh, really jump at Ben QT before they can react, it might be a saving grace for them. Exactly, so now it all depends on how they're going to keep the saving grace alive. Curse Blast to try to burn some HP from Renegade. 62 seconds for the Lord to be respawned. And now, at this point, they need to groove it up and make sure they are alive against Team Aurora. Right now, Team Liquid finds another split to come and take the clean up the game. You know, something tells me we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> Team Liquid is playing so safe, and look at the levels. They were so behind just now, but they're pretty much at oh. a point where the levels are kind of equal already. And maybe just maybe two or three more minutes, the gold difference won't even matter. Like, look at it right now, it's just 1.3k, 1.2k as we speak. Mm -mm, 1.2, sorry, 1.1k, 1.2k. Yeah, exactly. Right now, they are just gonna play this game right now. With the protecting the Emperor formation, they just need to try to minimize the early game lead by Team Aurora and make space for Benekiti to just clean the game. So as more objectives as they claim, they are going to decrease the gold lead even on further, and that is gonna be a, a big pain for Team Aurora if they do not clean this game nicely. So now, Team Liquid, they need to try to end the game, but Aurora ultimately needs to find the way to fight back. You just look at how disciplined they are. Already it's 17 minutes and yet it's just 11 oh. trap. But okay, here comes the conceal play. Renner J looking for an opportunity to go in. Oh, JP, would you just jump away? Okay, yep. Uh, I guess no fight's gonna happen. Yep. Cue the Lord Dance. Yep, here's the Lord Dance. And perhaps both sides they know this is gonna happen oh, now. If the, the Grog the Blade will be expecting that Gork, the then the Lord Dance right here. Oh. Oh no, the lanes. But. Oh no, no, no. Here we go. I'm not you. sure. Yeah, he's gonna be forced Maybe. to clear the lane. So that's the main damage. Oh, the way. Oh, oh. Here you go! Cow TZ! Get down! And that's a very crucial wall charge we have possibly happened. And now he goes. Benicuti oh. cleans the he's job. Back. No way! He no. pulls back! And he comes over! Triple kill! And potentially a maniac He's going savage, after Renegade on the hunt! Savage, Another savage, savage in their hands! Savage, Maybe savage. The win is a savage for QT. Two savages in just one day by the same team! And they just they must make it happen! They make the impossible possible now! Team Aurora, the first debut match that has just gone wrong! Team Liquid, they've done it! They deny this first debut match as a good run, as the aim game and this game number one with a great success. Damn, it feels good to cast Group B. You've seen two savages already and two oh. extremely flashy team fights. 
I thought I thought Team Liquid would have lost that team fight, honestly. Oh my god! Oh my god! I could not just yell just I just I just could not could not 